Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to go over my top five Alaskan hunting cartridges. All of these will be big, hard hitting cartridges. As the famous Burt Gummer once said, when you need it and don't have it, you sing a different tune. To make sure we're not singing a different tune, I have two criteria for these Alaskan cartridges. First, it has to shoot a 200 grain bullet or bigger, preferably bigger. Number two, the cartridge needs to deliver 4,000 foot pounds of energy out of the muzzle. So it needs to have some power to it. Now disclaimer, this is my opinion and you might disagree with it. There are a lot of good Alaskan cartridges. At number five, we have the legendary 375 H&H Magnum. Uh, I had to include this. This is really the granddaddy of all Magnums. Uh, it really was influential for a lot of the Magnums that we see today. Uh, Weatherby Magnums, Winchester Magnums, they're all influenced by the 375 H&H Magnum. Let's go ahead and look at some of the ballistics. So, a 270 grain bullet is going 2,700 feet per second. That's good velocity with a big bullet. So yeah, this definitely has the oomph and power to, to be an Alaskan cartridge. I just wanted to show you real quick the uh, foot-pounds of energy, because I did say I wanted over 4,000. So the 375 H&H Magnum with that 270 grain bullet going 2,700 feet per second delivers almost 4,400 foot-pounds of energy. So plenty of energy. At number four, I have the 300 Remington Ultra Magnum, or what it's known as the 300 Rum. Now this is one of the more powerful 30 caliber Magnums. In fact, the only one that's more powerful than this is the Weatherby, that 3378 Weatherby. So this has plenty of power for Alaskan game. It will shoot a 200 grain bullet at 3,150 feet per second. Now there are of course other 30 caliber magnums that could make this list that have over 4,000 foot pounds of energy. But I think the 300 rum is one of the better ones that does it. Let me show you the uh, foot pounds energy. So shooting a 225 grain bullet at 2,900 feet per second, your energy is at 4,200 foot pounds. At number three, I have the Behemoth 378 Weatherby Magnum. This cartridge is a bruiser uh, on both ends. In fact, uh, the uh, current owner of Weatherby, Adam Weatherby, mentioned that uh, this Weatherby Magnum, he felt uh, kicked the hardest. So let's go ahead and look at the, the velocities with this big boy. A 270 grain bullet going 3,100 feet per second. Now, if you remember, that 375 H&H was shooting it at 2,700 feet per second. And then we can go up to this 300 grain bullet, and it's going to be almost going 3,000 feet per second. So at 2,900 feet per second. Now, I just want to show you the energy. So shooting a 300 grain bullet a little over 2,900 feet per second. Look at that energy. 5,700 foot-pounds, so plenty of energy for any of the dangerous game in Alaska. At number two, I have probably the most popular cartridge that's used in Alaska, the 338 Winchester Magnum. This was introduced in 1958. It is based off the 375 H&H case with that belt right there, and it's adequate enough. Um, this is the least powerful cartridge in my top five, but I had to include it because so many people use it in Alaska. So looking at like a 225 grain bullet, it's going to be going over 2,800 feet per second. So that 338 wind mag with the 225 grain bullets, it's going 2,850 feet per second. You are just over the 4,000 foot pound uh, minimum that I think you should have so it's just good enough and a lot of people use it So I think it's it's a very good cartridge 
And at number one, I have the 340 Weatherby Magnum. I promise I'm not being biased. Okay, maybe a little bit. But this cartridge is really good. So let's go ahead and look at the ballistics of the 340 Weatherby Magnum. Shooting a 225 grain bullet, you're going to get over 3,000 feet per second. With a 250 grain bullet, you're going to get over 2,900 feet per second. And if you get Weatherby ammo, it's closer to 3,000 feet per second. This is actually just as powerful as the beloved 338 Lapua Magnum. Now let me show you the energy. With a 250 grain bullet, Weatherby factory ammo going 2963 feet per second, you're getting 4,800 foot-pounds of energy. So quite a lot. I appreciate you guys watching this video. I uh, hope you uh, enjoyed the content. And again, I'm sorry if I left out one of your favorite cartridges. There are a lot of others that could have fit in this top five. But uh, again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.